Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Mimi and if you are new here, thank you so much for tuning into this video and I do hope you like it and give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe whilst you are watching. To everyone who is returning, thank you so much for tuning in again. So today's video is pretty much an addition to a video I made previously on ways to make money if you are in South Africa or in Africa, I suppose, um, but mostly if you are in South Africa. And these are ways that have worked for me, some of them. Some of them I haven't tried yet, but they are guaranteed to work and I know this for a fact. Some of them are quick and easy ways to make cash and some of them are really a much longer process if you want to hear more about that please stay tuned so the first way to make money that you can try out is an app called field agent now this app is pretty simple straightforward you just download it on um iStore or google play store and what you pretty much do on this app is tasks so the app will give you like a simple task like for example, go to KFC and order a Streetwise 2, which is about like 40 rand, I'm not sure. Um, order a Streetwise 2 and uh, just tell us if you like it or if you hate it. Just give us a review on the meal that you ordered. That's an example. Another example could be like, take a picture of you drinking tea in a blue cup. And you take a picture and you send it to them or you do a review or whatever. And they will pay you for your review or your picture or your video or whatever task they give you so it's pretty much simple and straightforward but you do not get like uh, thousands of rands because why would you get a thousand rand for just drinking a cup of tea but um it is it's a reasonable amount that you can get you can get like 50 rand you can get 70 rand it really depends on the task there's a whole bunch of tasks, so you can just go through the app and look at what task is easy for you, what task won't cost you too much. But usually the, the tasks that do cost more do pay more. So um, if you're just not, like if you're not lazy, you could just go and order McDonald's or KFC and review it and then send it to them and then you make your money. So they pay you through PayPal. Um, so you'd obviously have to create a PayPal account, which is also relatively easy. The thing with PayPal in South Africa, though, is that you have to have a connecting FNB account, which is also pretty easy. Um, I try to do this on my own uh, to connect, to link my FNB account to my PayPal account, but it was kind of tricky. So, you know, I was just like, whatever, I'm going to go to the branch. They're going to do it for me. And it was really simple and straightforward. Okay, so the next way in which you can make money is by another app called MobRock. And pretty much what you do here is surveys. So you'd obviously have to complete um, a profile. There's quite a bit of questions that you have to answer. Um, they're mostly about yourself. What do you do? Are you a student? Are you working? Where do you stay? And based on your answers, they will give you surveys to complete. Like So for example, if I say I work in... Um, a retail industry they might give me retail related surveys but with Mobrog, you really just have to update your profile regularly just don't give up because sometimes they'll say okay here's a survey for you and then you click on it and you answer some pre-survey questions and then they'll say sorry you don't qualify but that's okay but if they're giving you a survey about makeup you can't say, no, I work in the car industry or whatever. So obviously you have to just try to be smart about it. They also pay through PayPal and it's exactly the same as um, with field agent. Another way in which you can make money is by au pairing. So um, I'm pretty sure some of you have heard about au pair. There is another local au pair agency that has... Um, opened up i think it's been up for um, quite some time now it's called Ope Josie, but it does pay less than um normal au pair so it could start from like seven thousand rand and you can get um a child care certificate a tefl child care certificate really easily um you can just go and search tefl certificate 
in child care. Sometimes they're on discount, sometimes they're not, um, but it's really not that expensive and it's usually just uh, a few months, maybe one month, two months, however fast it takes you to complete the certificate. So you would need that and then register under the OPEA Josie site and you would get assigned to a family that needs pretty much a child carer. But the thing with OPEA, it's not like you're a nanny because um, au pairs, it, it, it literally means like same as, so you'd be like part of the family. So anything that they do, you do. If there is another au pair site, which is an international site, it is called Cultural Au Pair. Um, it is usually au pairing parents looking for au pairs, so child guardians um, internationally. So whether in Asia, in America, in Europe, wherever, you, you have to complete a profile, obviously, you have to have a driver's license. Um, you can register if you have your learner's license, but they need to know when you're planning on getting your actual driver's license. So um, they pay much, much more. And of course, they pay for your visa, they pay for your traveling and accommodation and everything. And obviously, you'll be staying in the household of the family that obviously chooses you. And you really become part of the family. So I think it's much, much better than um, doing the au pair here in South Africa. But I'm not saying doing it in here, here in South Africa is a bad thing. But I do think if you do it internationally, you also get uh, travel benefits and so on. I'll try to write down all these names in the description box so you guys can check them out. Another way in which you can make money, I spoke about this in the previous video, but I was speaking about a South African organization at that. So this one is called New Life Egg Donor. So if you do egg donation in South Africa, you get around about 7,000 rand for um, your egg donation. From the time they choose you, it's about a two to three month process for you to complete. And then you get uh, compensated, obviously, before the end of three months. So maybe... Once you get selected and you, you go for screening, they pay you within like 10 days of that. So this New Life one is an international egg donation agency and they pay you $3,500, which is about 61,000 Rand in, in South Africa. So it's it's quite a lot of money. I mean, if you're looking maybe to to get a lot of money to maybe start up a business or if you really need to take care of something i'm not saying it's easy money um but it is relatively safe legal and you're also giving the gift of life to another family so you just need to make sure that you're healthy obviously and they will obviously pay for if you do need to go and um donate they will pay for your stay they'll pay for your visa they'll pay for your flight everything like that so it's pretty much a done deal they just need you to be healthy and up for it of course and then the last way that i'm going to talk about is called the capitec wealth investment so this one is really it's not a lot of money but you can invest um every week you can invest 200 rand and after three days, you get 70 Rand back. That's guaranteed. And then you have to reinvest your 200 Rand and get another 70 Rand back. Reinvest, get another up to five times. So it's it's money. I mean, where are you going to find five 70 Rands just lying on the floor, right? Um, so if that's something you want to look into, I don't have the website that you can go on to. But if you, you can um, send me a DM on my Instagram, I will try to get you in touch with someone who can do that this is uh guaranteed i i tried this and i got paid 70 rand so um i think it's something that you can try if you don't want to like join whatsapp stock fails and whatsapp groups and whatever so um yeah this is a safe way to go there was many questions that i was getting about rev.com i think if you guys want me to make one video on really how to get into rev.com which is um, a transcription site that it, it pays really well. So uh, I will do another video for that. What really matters is that when they give you the test, so if you go on rev.com and um, you fill in your application and then, then they give you that test, what is important, please, do not take that test lightly because they will check 
every full stop. They will check every spelling mistake. Or if they said full and you heard bill, it doesn't matter what you heard. They want, for that test in particular, they want you to write what they said. They already know the answers, obviously. So you really have to do your research about it. You can even go on YouTube and get some tips. I'm not saying cheats because I, for my first account, I did try and then um, I failed the, the test because I found like a site or, or a guy that was like, here are the answers to the transcription test on wave.com and it looked legit. And then when I like literally did exactly the same thing, I failed. I did uh, manage to pass eventually. I'll show you my email that I got once I, I passed the, the transcription test and my application was approved. I'll just put it here uh, so that you can have a look at it. Uh, I got this email and then I was told that I was put on a waiting list because obviously a lot of people apply to it.com because obviously it pays well. And uh, after that, I, got, I kept on getting bumped up. Every time I got bumped up, they would send me exactly the same email. And then eventually um, I started and did uh, my first gig and I did my first gig and I got uh, 850 Rand for transcribing for about an hour. It's really not bad because I would just be watching uh, Instagram videos for an hour. So it's really not bad. And um, yeah, once so I got the 850, I went in for another gig. But here is the sad bit. I thought, you know, I knew everything and I just did it for the sake of doing it. And I didn't really check the work. And of course, they want you to check the work. My account was like, sort of like, not I don't want to say blocked, but I had to like reapply because my work wasn't up to standard, which is very understandable. But now, of course, I had to do the whole waiting process again. So um, I applied again with a different email because if you check they'll say you have to wait 40 days before you can apply but if you apply with a different email address you can just go ahead and apply <laughs> right so i applied and um i got the same email i understand why a lot of you guys have been saying that um you failed the test it's fine i failed the test it's chilled uh, if you do need help again i will link my instagram but please bear in mind that i may not be able to answer like cordially so yeah, those are additional ways in which you can make money as a young person in South Africa, even as an old person for some. If you guys have any questions about the ways uh, that I listed that you can make money, please comment down below so I can uh, get your notification that you have a question. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in my next video.